Hi. Today's video is going to be a short but practical guide to the mysterious power that we hold in our palms, Lao Gong. We're going to do a little flow to sensitize and energize the Lao Gong. And we're going to do a little self healing to stimulate the energy gates, the chakras, if it was yoga, to show you how to, you can use the, your palms to heal yourself. The Taoists taught that we are the bridge between heaven and earth, heaven, human, and earth, the cosmic trinity. So our bodies harmonize the energy of heaven and earth. We use our hands, we use the magnetic resonance of Lao Gung to harmonize the energy of heaven and earth. So all of Qigong movements are not just about moving the arms and the joints. Through the palms, we're able to pull the energy up our body and push it down. You have to not have dead hands. But we need to make our hands energetic. We need to expand our fingers from the palm. So it's like putting on a glove. It feels like putting on a glove. It's not stretching the fingers externally, like you're doing, a, you're stretching your fingers, but it's more like you're expanding, extending your fingers from the center. Magnetic resonance in the palms can guide and lead the qi. Often qigong beginners will find that in their very first class, when they do this, they feel their palms can feel each other. And you see this look on their face like, oh my God, I'm doing Qigong. And in fact, they are feeling their Qi, but it's, this is a very external in the beginning. This is our Wei Qi, this is part of our immune system, but it is the magnetic resonance in our palms. And ultimately, just by bringing your attention to your palm, you will feel this energy start to flow. Remember, when you do Qigong, you want to have energy in your hands. Really, you feel this expansion in your hands. You want to be conscious. And often, the bringing this expansion, right, I can feel the power grow. This allows me to use my fingers to direct the chi, use my palms to direct the chi. And how we do that is with our intention. Now intention doesn't mean we try to do it. Attention means that if I just simply bring my attention to my palm and where I want the chi to go, the chi will form a bridge to where I'm sending it. I don't know how this works, but it works. And it takes time. I've been doing this for a long time. So I'm telling you, there's a, a lot of cultivation involved in doing this. The last several videos that I've done have all been about the Lao Gong. I should have possibly done this first, but I didn't really think about doing it until the Chi Ball video. So I will link all of these in the description. I think especially the Buddha Palm video is, a, and the Feel Your Chi video are about the cultivation of the Lao Gong. Today, I'm gonna to get into a little bit of how we heal ourselves. But first, we need to get rid of some of the stagnation and create some sensitivity. So we're gonna shake. Try to keep your spine straight so that you have some structure when you shake. It's like shaking a, a branch of a tree so that the leaves shake, but the, the branch shakes less. Right? We want to get everything off the branch to be shaking and moving.
sure your shoulders are loose. Make sure your hands are loose. You can do some like that. Okay, that, that's enough for today. We're going to drum up the chi with a little tapping. So, start beating on your lower dantian. And then we're just gonna come up, go down the inside, over the palm, up the outside. Come to the other side, go down, up the outside, go down, come down to the belt, come to the kidneys, tap the kidneys. We're gonna come down the sides of the legs and around the ankles, around the feet, up the inside. We're gonna come back around here and we're gonna go down the back of the leg. And up the inside. And then back to this drumming. Relax. Find a comfortable Uji posture. Relax your shoulders. Relax your hands. So, extending your arms, extending your fingers like you're putting on gloves. Hands come up and they float down. Allow the hands to just relax. Turn your palms over. Gathering chi. Into your dantian. Turn the palms up. We're gonna pull up some chi from our from the earth and from our kidneys up to our heart. And then we're gonna flush down chi from our heart. That's hot and stagnant. And feel it go down into your feet. Turn the palms over. Pulling up the chi, cooling off the heart, the yin chi, and then flushing the stagnant hot, overheated chi into the air. Picking it up, pushing it down. Pick it up again and dragon presents its claws. So stretch your log bone, stretch your fingers. Dragon rotates its claws. So fingers down, elbows in, wrists in. Come out. Come in. Push out, lengthen your fingers, stretch your log bone. Roll the wrists down. Don't 
turn the hands around and push. Very gently. No strain. Go slow. Let your joints open and feel your palms, stretching your palms. Roll in your hands. Removing stagnation from your wrists. Good for your shoulders. Now, Laogum breath, which is moving your Dantian, squeeze your perineum a little and go and breathe into your Laogum. So, Laogum breath. So, we're going to go. times. Relax. And now just let the hands come down, palms roll out, holding the moon under the water. See if you can feel the weight of heaven in your hands. And again, on the inhale, we want to Expand the lagoon. Turn over and just settle them on the surface of the lake. So see if you can rest your hands on the earth cheek. And feel this resonance supporting your hands. Like they're floating on the surface of water. a chi ball. Hands fold in. I did a whole video about this. Hand moves up, bottom hand moves down, comes around. Notice I'm not lifting my shoulders.
let the hands come apart. Let the hands come over your Dantian. So they fold men left hand first, right on top, women do the opposite. And just settle there. This next is a form called the Immortal Swings Sleeves. So the Immortals wore these robes with long sweet sleeves. Hard to say sleeves sometimes. So we roll the body in one direction, the hand comes up, this hand gets loose, we roll the body in one direction and go like that, and the hand just comes back. Roll it in the other direction and fling the stagnation away. Down. You want to feel the stagnant chi coming off your hands. Like you're just throwing it away. And throw it far away. Throw it far away. Look where you're throwing it and throw it far away. Coming back to here. Now we're going to stimulate our energy gates. If this was yoga, it would be stimulating the chakras. Take men taking the left hand, women the opposite, in front of the lower dantian. You want to feel the resonance, if possible. The other hand comes above it. Make sure that your laogong are lined up. So, and then you can just gently move a little bit and, and see if it's like a lens, like you're focusing a lens. So the distance may vary. They don't touch, nothing touches. This is all energetic. And just focus your hands on lower down to end. Shoulders are relaxed. Body's in Uji. The inside hand comes up to the solar plexus. Notice the change. So to the diaphragm. And stimulate the solar plexus and the lower dantian. You can do this much slower. I'm not going to do it slow today, but you can slow this down. The bottom hand comes up behind it and make sure that the laogong are focused on top of each other. Keeping the elbows heavy. Don't let your shoulders come up as your hands come up. Feeding your diaphragm here, this point here at the bottom of your sternum, it holds so much tension there. This helps to relax it. Hand comes up to the heart, the heart chakra, if you will. The inside, the outside hand comes up behind it. Just notice what's happening. Don't look at your hands. Don't stare at the screen. Feel your body. Coming up to your throat, where we hold so much tension from unsaid words and things we wish we hadn't said. A lot of tension, a lot of blockages happen in the throat. And then bring the other hand up behind it. So we're energizing these energy gates, these chakras, if it was yoga. It, I, what's the difference? It's a, it's a name. It's, 
It's a, it's a different culture. It's a different attitude. The third eye. Finally, we're going to come up to our by way and feel your central channel. See if you can feel it. The other hand comes on top. So now, Bring the elbows closer together. And again, you can do this at your own pace. We're going to start to come down and pull the energy down along the same path from our body weight to our third eye. And make sure the shoulders aren't up, holding this up. We don't want to create tension to our throat. Solar plexus. Lower down to the end. When you've had enough, rest your hands on the lower down to the end. And now we're going to roll our hands open. And we're going to pick up some chi. And now we're going to flush down any stagnant chi. Instead of into our dantian, we're just going to sweep the body and see if you can feel this in your toes as you push the stagnant chi through your feet into the earth three times. And that's it. So you can be in any of these positions as long as you want. Shake it out a little more. And thank you for being here. Thank you for your, for your likes and your subscriptions. And I'm thrilled that you're here. And uh, I will be back soon with something new. So I'll see you soon. Bye.